Hey everyone, we've been doing a lot of garden videos lately and today I wanted to get into some of the healthy snacks that you guys could make at home as well. This is one of the easiest ones to make and one of our most popular recipes so I thought we'd start with that one. We're going to make some ginger ale at home. And it's really easy actually, you only need three main ingredients, lemon juice, ginger and honey. Now you're also going to want, as a fourth ingredient, you're going to want some bubbly water of some kind. Carbonated spring water, carbonated water works the best. Uh, or if you have one of these soda streams at home, you can use that as well. I actually made this recipe to work perfectly for one of those machines. So let's get started. I'll show you guys how to make it. Okay, so we're going to start with the ginger. You want a nice chunk of ginger, about uh, four centimeters. What we're looking for is between one and two tablespoons of grated ginger. And you want to be careful doing this. You get some adults to help you. You don't want to cut your finger on the cheese grater because then you're not making ginger ale anymore. You're making finger ale and that's not going to taste nearly as good. And there we go. We've got here, we've got a good tablespoon, maybe more. We'll measure it out. Let's check it out. We're going to take our strainer. We're going to put the ginger in the strainer and we're just going to squeeze nice and gently. You can see all the juice that comes out of comes out of this. Ginger is really good for you if you've got an upset stomach or even if you have a cold, it can help with your cough and your sore throat. Okay, next ingredient we're going to add is the lemon juice. You can use a real lemon if you want, if you've got that. Uh, if you're doing that, you want a half of a lemon. With this stuff here, one half of a lemon is one and a half tablespoons. So I've got a half tablespoon measure here. We're going to measure out three of these. And lemon juice is full of vitamin C, which is good for your immune system to help you fight off colds as well. Now the last ingredient we need is honey. I've actually got a orange blossom honey here. We're going to use two tablespoons of honey. Let's get my tablespoon measure it again. And this orange blossom honey is going to add some nice citrus flavor to this as well. But you can use any kind of honey. Honey is also really good for you if you're sick too, especially if you've got a sore throat because it can help soothe your sore throat. And honey has been shown to help fight germs as well. So I always like to use honey whenever I'm feeling sick. And this is why I like to do this in a jar because what you can see is happening here. The honey and the lemon juice and the ginger don't mix together very well. So put the lid on a jar and shake it up. I like to say you got to shake it about a hundred times. So here we go, shaking. There we go, all mixed together. So now we've got our syrup. We're going to add our syrup to the water and I've measured out one liter of water here. That's the same amount that you would have if you were using a soda stream. That's one soda stream bottle. And you want to add the syrup to the water so that you don't make a huge mess because I'm going to show you what happens when we do this here. It makes a lot of fizzing and this can shoot out all over the place if you do it the other, the other order. So there you go. You've got some nice healthy ginger ale. I know this one's really popular with the kids and they're always asking us to make it over and over again. So uh, hopefully you guys, now you know how to make it, you can make it at home for your family and uh, have a nice healthy pop. All right, stay tuned for more Earth Bites videos. We'll see you guys again really soon.